Hello, welcome. Today we'll be preparing delicious dry fried goat meat, which we commonly know in Kenya as Mbuzi dry fry. First things first is to cut up your meat. Next thing, I washed up the meat and put it in my sufuria and I did not add any more water and I added about three cloves of garlic together with a piece of ginger minced followed by three quarter teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of coriander powder, about a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of paprika. and three quarter teaspoon of turmeric, some salt to season it with, and just mixed everything together. Once that is done, cover your sufuria and let it cook on medium low. And don't worry that the meat will not cook well. Goat meat has its own water. Once the meat has dried up and you're sure that it has cooked 100% completely, it's time to fry it. Next, go ahead to add some oil in your pan, followed by your meat. And the reason why I prefer to cook my meat first with all those seasonings and spices is for it to soak it all those goodness and flavors. By the time you're frying it, the meat is so flavorful. And uh, this is how you want your meat to look like. This is ready. You can even serve it as it is. But I prefer to add some veggies there. So I'm going to add some onions. I'm just going to fry the onions until they're translucent, not crispy or too brown. And then I decided to add in some green bell peppers. You can go ahead to add in colored bell peppers. That is the red, the yellow, and you can even add any other veggies that you prefer. And finish that up with some coriander, stir it, and your dry fried goat meat, that is muzi dry fry, is ready to serve. This was so delicious. It was done within minutes, and I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Please share it with your friends and family. Let me know how you have turned out on the comment section down below once you try it. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification. I will see you on our next recipe. Till next time, bye-bye.